Hello, in this video I'll talk about my paperwork and what I do. Alright, I have three phone calls here. Barry from Skype, I sent him a message. Uh, Jemmy, I spoke to him today. Ernest, he calls me. I left a message for him, but I really need to get back to him. Uh, the problem is that we have different time, time zones. So that that's the problem, but uh, all right. Here it says Tuesday, the tenth of March, and today is the eighteenth of March. A week ago, it says go to the community legal address, ask if I may go to fill out the papers to get divorced. Well, they don't answer the phone, and that's the reason that we need to go over there. All right, I did find their address. It wasn't a brochure. I did give it to the lady that's going to drive me over there. All right. Tuesday the 17th. It must have been yesterday. Pressure wash the back of the house and use a bleach. Use bleach with a long brush to be able to reach up there. I did that. Uh, read with Max the Christmas card and the Spanish text. I didn't do that today. We we went on we were outside when we did get home but it's not a perfect environment for getting people to do things. For instance a perfect environment would be my grandpa's house with no electricity and no gadgets. If you wanted to play go outside play uh, but here uh, the kids they bring their own internet or their own connections to the internet all right in the previous video I mentioned that revenge is the Lord's by this I mean that if you are an angry person or you hurt someone eventually karma you will receive pain for having hurt someone even when you don't notice that you're hurting someone later you will be more careful you will be aware of this especially when the karma hits you back that's when you remember it so my recommendation for everyone is to go do a good deed every day consciously do a good deed you could say that someone like firemen or firefighters they automatically do a good deed when they go turn off a fire okay but that's the day there is a fire the day there is no fire what have you done so if you go out and do a good deed every day and this comes advice from Jet Li's movie uh, with Man Ting the little boy that, that had his legs straight up and the other boys were saying I can defeat you and he said my dad said not to put my leg down until noon and he had his legs straight up like that oh and so do a good deed every day in that movie one old man hired Jet Li as the bodyguard and his son, the one that was picking on the bodyguard's son, Jet Li's son, uh, said, Dad, why do you do good deeds? And the old rich man said, Because for many years I didn't have a son. But then a wise man told me to do a good deed every day, and that's when you were born. I did a good deed for a year, and then uh, uh, you were born so he does a good deed and I'm very happy to have a son so do a good deed every day avoid negative people negative places and negative things and with paperwork definitely write things down I was ordered by the judge to go see a doctor 
and the doctor asked me questions like what does the judge do what does the lawyer do what does the public defender on your side do what does the the other one the other lawyer that is against you what does he do and what does the jury do so these were a bunch of questions but they were dealing with whether I understood what the law was uh, basically uh, if you are insane they will not permit you to go to trial because it would be the equivalent of sending a one-year-old child to the trial uh, the child would not know what's happening what is the correct courtroom behavior and what is incorrect for instance if someone else is talking what do you do you wait for your turn to talk uh, for most of us the questions are yes uh, the public defender is on my side he helps me uh, so all right so that's what I did the other day if I had not gone to see the law the doctor then the judge could put me in jail for not complying with a court order and you children listening if you don't want to go to school because there are gangs or there are problems at school so you don't you quit going to school I believe in Florida you gotta be 16 in order to be able to quit school completely but if you're 12 and you stop going to school just to pick a number 10 11 12 and then the judge orders you to go to school and you don't go then what will happen is the judge will put you in jail for disobeying a court order so the best thing you can do is find an adult to move out of that city where the gangs are and when you move you go to the new school and you do your time just like a prisoner does uh, you do your time until you're 16 then you can get out of there unless you have parents that are listening and say mom because I never told my mom about all the dangers I went through every single day and being chased home from school I was a white boy in a black neighborhood and then from one black neighborhood to the next to the next to the next black neighborhood uh, where we lived also was a black neighborhood yes there were Hispanics next door and a few houses down but the, the thing is uh, in Chicago it was a racist city a very dangerous city and not just for us whites it was also that way for the blacks and it was also that way for the Latinos uh, the the ones that have the darker skin like most Mexicans and, and so on uh, it was just a terrible place to be uh, I spoke to the class one time here in Florida and I mentioned how once I became a driver I started driving at 16 then I didn't get chased anymore I didn't have problems anymore but before that getting on a bus you instantly look around and they call it post-traumatic stress disorder because even now even though I haven't been on a bus now not in many years here in Florida you I automatically look around automatically I say is this guy dangerous or not do I look dangerous to her or not because I mean she could just pepper spray me if she was a girl from Chicago or something uh, I have seen people get cut with knives uh, what else and, and this is something that you don't forget when you live next to a bar in Chicago where there were so many bars uh, bars were places where people used to go drink but I used to see the men going in there must have been women working there or something because why would they all go in there just to pick a fight 
And I used to sit in the front window and just look at all the men fighting. There was a lady that used to sell summer, like Italian ices type of thing, but it was called Raspas. And she used to sell that her son got into a fight with another man, but uh, what her son was a very powerful man, because I still don't have the ability to lift the manhole cover and just hold it, pick it up and put it on your chest like that. The other guy had a knife. But even the guy with the knife didn't get closer because he knows that even though the only guy has one shot at throwing that thing at his feet, if he hits his foot, that thing is, his foot is broken. So he, the, the man with the knife backed down. But I don't know how long that was, 10, 15, 20 minutes. These are fights. But now, the police respond faster in some areas. They didn't show up in Chicago hmm. when I was little. All right, go do a good deed and pass your paperwork on. Once you get it written down, check it off when you get it done, and then you could toss it. God bless you.